Hello YouTube. So Lego Technicalities here. Um, I'd like to apologize first for the amount of static you can hear on my microphone. Um, can't really find any way to fix that easily. So uh, in any case, this is my SUGV tank, which stands for Small Unmanned Ground Vehicle. Now the most common uh, or widely known version of this is the one made by iRobot for the US military. So if you want to see what this is modeled after, just Google iRobot SUGV and you'll see many pictures of it. Um, it's quite an awesome tank. So I said I wouldn't be revisiting this because I first attempted with Legos quite a while ago to build a model of it and it didn't quite work out. But this one's a little bigger. These front treads are no longer triangular. They're actually the same exact size as the back main treads. And the whole thing is much larger than the uh, the first model I made, which hardly had enough room for the battery box and two motors. But uh, this, well, I wouldn't say much larger. It's 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 a little larger. In any case, um, there's two M motors for driving the treads. One motor to drive both left treads. One motor to drive both right treads. So these are linked together. There's this single axle which goes all the way through to the motor. Um, there's two M motors for flipping the front treads. They have 360 plus degrees of motion, also known as unlimited, um, so they can just rotate all the way around uh, continuously. Um, those motors, sadly, are not strong enough to uh, flip the robot, though. So they can't really lift it or flip it. Now they are strong enough to raise these treads and lift them in the air like they really don't care because they don't. But uh, they're not strong enough to flip the robot. So one solution would be to put in L motors, which is why I have one right here on the side. Now there's certainly enough room lengthwise to put in an L motor. It's only one stud longer. But you'll notice it has those bulges on it. So you'd probably be competing with the battery box for space, and I don't think that's a, a I don't know, a, a competition the battery box can lose just because it has the plug for the IR receiver. Um, you know, I, I don't think there's enough room for it. Well, maybe there is right in the front here for that plug. Um, regardless, you'd have to move these gearboxes more towards the center of the robot to make way for these bulges. Um, now, you might also think you could just flip the motor axially so this bulge is facing up, but uh, then you'd have the problem if the robot flips over, this bulge would be sticking out and uh, you, you really couldn't move anywhere because you're kind of like a beached whale. So, in any case, there's that problem with it, but uh, you know, they're Legos, what can you expect? I'm, I'm just happy that it can lift the treads and move them around, and it's it's a pretty cool model just in general. So I don't care so much if it can't flip itself over. It'd be a lot cooler if it could, but uh, I don't know, without like moving the IR receivers over here and pushing the motors back to, to put in these L motors, it might be a challenge. Um, Speaking of the IR receivers, so you have four motors, they plug into both receivers. Now one of the receivers has to piggyback off the other because there's only room on this battery box with the motor clearance to plug in one receiver. So uh, you can just piggyback the receivers and you won't have a problem. Um, that's pretty much it in terms of the physical specs for the model. Now, uh, this is made in ML CAD, which is Mike's Lego CAD. It's part of the LDRAW package. You're currently viewing it in LD View, which is also part of the LDRAW package. Um, if you're familiar with ML CAD and you'd like this file, just PM me on YouTube or leave a comment, and I'd be more than happy to give you the CAD file. It's quite easy to build this just from the bottom up. Um, so the other program that's a part of the LD, not LD view, uh, just LDRAW package is LPUB, and that's for making building instructions for things like this. Now, I'm not familiar with that program, and I don't know how to use it. So 
if I do get around to playing with it, I will first be making a set of building instructions for this. Um, so, maybe I'll get around to that by summer, who knows. Um, but again, if, if enough people leave comments or something, then I'll, I'll certainly try my best to uh, get that done. Uh, otherwise, I think model-wise, that's, that's about it. Now, it does use a lot of these black, small tank tread links, so uh, I think LEGO has recently gotten better at making more Technic sets that involve these small black treads, and they're, they're a little easier to use. If you don't have enough, you can always go on BrickLink and get some. That's actually where I got, I'd say, about half of mine. Um, if you're not familiar with BrickLink, it's a site for buying and selling new and used LEGOs. So it's a pretty awesome website. Um, otherwise, that's about it. So that's all I can think of at the moment. Um, you know, if you like stuff like this, you like my creation, you can always like and subscribe. That helps. Um, you know, hopefully, I'll be making more videos like this in the future. Um, I I do have this sitting on my desk right now, so hopefully, I'll make a real running video of it soon. We'll see. Um, and I think that's about it, so see you in the next one, guys, and get technical.